Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, this is Carl from lunchboxsessions.com. Today we're going to look at issues with internal and external leaks on hydraulic cylinders. It is normal when an operator releases a valve lever to expect a cylinder to stop and to hold a load at some mid-stroke position. Sometimes when a valve lever is released, it is found that the cylinder is slowly drifting downward. It is sometimes thought that the reason the cylinder is drifting downward is because of a failed piston seal. In this video, we will look at issues pertaining only to cylinders that drift in the inward or retract direction. In another video, we will look at cylinders that drift outward toward the extend direction. To make it clear that we are only examining the cylinder and no other parts of the hydraulic system, we have closed the shutoff valves to both the blind end and the rod end cylinder ports. For this simulation, the color violet will indicate vacuum pressure, blue will indicate drain or tank pressure, and positive pressure will span from yellow up to red. Starting out with neutral tank pressure above and below the cylinder piston, let's now add bricks on top of the cylinder rod. As we add bricks, pressure below the piston increases and pressure above the piston moves into greater and greater values of partial vacuum or negative pressure. We are also noticing that the rod is settling downward. This happens because typical hydraulic oil is both slightly compressible below the piston and stretchable above the piston. The exact amount of settling movement will depend on piston diameter and the amount of load which translates into a pressure value. On small machinery, the amount of settling may be almost imperceptible. What do you believe will happen when we click a button to suddenly remove the piston seal? Will the cylinder stay where it is? move just a little, or drop all of the way to the bottom. What about our two pressure gauges? What do you expect that they will read? Let's find out. With the piston seal removed, pressure was equalized throughout the cylinder tube. This makes sense as the rod on the outside is now pushing into only one zone of fluid. But why didn't the rod sink all of the way down? It's a simple matter of cylindrical volume. If the cylinder tube was already full of hydraulic oil here, here, and here, and with the piston and half of the length of the cylinder rod, there is no room, no free volume space to accommodate the external half of the rod. Think of a full glass of water. If you push your finger into the water from above, water spills over to make room for your finger. The hydraulic cylinder is not an open glass of water. It is sealed by a gland bushing at the upper rod end. I am sure that you did notice additional settling downward when the piston seal was removed. With the piston seal removed and all internal pressures equalized, the surface area on the upper annular part of the piston and an equivalent amount on the bottom of the piston cancel out. The remaining piston surface area is that which is represented only by the rod diameter. Using the formula where pressure is equivalent to the force divided by piston surface area, it is easy to see how we have arrived at the highest pressure thus far. The higher pressure allows for a slightly greater factor of fluid compression. Would the rod hold this position with the piston seal removed if the rod end gland bushing also became leaky? Of course not. With an easy path for fluid to exit the cylinder tube, space is made available for the full rod length. If a cylinder does not have external leaks near the rod end, and it is drifting downward when it should be holding position, the common fault is usually found in the system valves that operate the cylinder. I hope you found this short tutorial to be helpful. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching.
We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.